Let's check out the explosive leg drive on the Pablo Cuevas forehand. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play against, practice with, or even find a coach who's close to you, then use my link in the description, playercourt.com slash two minute tennis to get 50% off. Now, Pablo is known for such clean technique. Absolutely love the way he hits a forehand. Now, I want to show you his leg drive and how he uses his legs on his forehand. We can look at it with the skeleton on, right? And we can see how much he sinks down into his legs. Look at that great rotation on his spine. It's just, you know, he's coming up with his body. But not only is he going up, he's actually like a corkscrew. It's like this as he's coming up. Check this out. Look how look how he rotates up and into this shot. So, so cool. All right. Let's look at how tall he is before he sinks down into this semi-open stance. So there's a line right at the top of his head. So now he sinks down, and this is his lowest point. This is where he's really ex ready to explode with the, with the legs. We can see that his you know, knees are basically facing us, but his chest is facing this way. That's that coiling effect. His shoulders are turned more than his hips. But I want to show you how he's now first gone down with his legs. But check this out. Watch as he goes to hit the ball. Look at him explode up. And watch how he's actually higher than that green line. Right? I'll draw a second line. That's where his head is now. So his head goes down initially and then up even higher than it was before he sunk down into that shot. Now you hear all the time, you're supposed to say low and just use your hand and have a fast hand and have a quiet body. Look, if you can do what Vic Braden was saying 60 years ago, which is sit and lift, which is what the pros do, you are going to maximize the amount of energy into this shot. And just look at him explode up as he hits this ball. Now, there is one detail that is very important. I want you to notice he's not going up as he hits the ball. He is done going up before he hits. Check this out. Watch his head going up. And what I'm going to do, let me go to the point where he's hitting the ball. And I'm going to put a green line there. I think that'll make it a little easier to understand what we're looking at. When his head gets up to this green line, that is when he is about to hit the ball or going to hit the ball. That's when he's done going up. So now he gets to the green line. He's done going up with his body. And now he hits. When you can finish the upward explosion and then hit the ball, that's when you maximize the power from the ground up through the body, through the racket and out through the shot. I love, by the way, this view. Let's just let's just take a look at his forehand in this view. Look at this body rotation on that spine. Absolutely love it. When, when you can sink down into your shot and then explode up and rotate like a corkscrew. So good. I want you to go out and film yourself. I want you to make sure that you sink down into your shot. Get down into your legs. Really sink low. But then don't stay low. I want you to come up, but, but basically corkscrew into the shot. And if you do, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.